All right. Um, I was given a microscope, and um, one of my complaints about the microscope was the, uh, the rack and pinion focusing thing. Uh, it's just a little bit flimsy. It connects right here like this, and so it's a little bit wobbly. And so as you focus it, it does move a little bit. I want something more uh, rigid, especially when I do image stacking. I want the uh, microscope not to move when I rack it up and down. Um, and so um, otherwise, I, I really like the microscope. So I was thinking about replacing this with something. And it's good to be a pack rat because years ago, um, I had purchased a pallet of microscopes. And I fixed some of those up. I sold most of them. I kept a few, um, like my stereo microscope I kept. Um, and one of the pieces that was just kind of random was this focusing mechanism um, from something. It says made in Japan. Um, and I, I, it didn't match any of the microscopes that were part of the lot that I bought. Oh, my camera's sliding down. Um, and so it does have a course and a fine on the, uh, on the focus adjust. So I thought, great. <laughs> so what I did was um, the, the old uh, rack uh, mounted here with three screws. Um, I machined this piece here. It's uh, 50 by 50 by 50 millimeters. And I put a, a 3 quarter inch uh, hole through it. And that mounts my uh, that mounts this this shaft. I put a 16-inch shaft in it. Now, um, uh, this was in my junk bin. This was in my junk bin, and this was in my junk bin. So everything's free, <laughs> which is great. I love those projects. Okay, so we can. Uh... Oops. There we go. We can we can slide this in. It's got a nice big knob here to crank on, so it's it's real easy. Some of them have a tiny little lever to. To, to lock it in place, but this one's got a nice big one, so it's really uh, really firm when, when it uh, when it mounts. And then I can go up and down and fine fine up and down. So the only thing other thing that I had to tackle was I had a big hole in it, and uh, this has a small hole. You kind of see the relationship here. So I needed to put a uh, some type of flange here to uh, to adapt the two, and. Um, I just went ahead and 3D printed something just to be quick, and I thought I'd go ahead and machine something out of aluminum later on. But this is fine, <laughs> so I think I'm going to uh, I think I'm going to just leave well enough alone. It works fine. Uh, it does have uh, two set screws in it to hold it in place, and then that uh, mounts on here. There is a thumb wheel here to hold it all together. Uh, so let me let me zoom way out. So there we go. Uh, so now I have a uh, Microscope that I find very usable. I really, really like it. Um, of course, if you were going to do this yourself, um, I went and priced these out. You can get focus mechanisms uh, similar to this out of China for about $75. So $75, this would probably cost you about $15, and the aluminum would be a couple of bucks. So for less than 100 bucks, you could uh, you could probably probably do this to yours if you were if you were so inclined. Um, like I said, the nice thing about this one is it's battery powered, so you can just take it anywhere you want and uh, uh, put something in it and, and, and focus to it. So now, now I have two ways of focusing. I can um, focus with the, uh, with the zoom knob here, or I can reach behind and grab the, uh, the fine focus adjust back here, or the co coarse focus adjust. Uh, so yeah, so this is going to be super, super good, um, especially for, like I said, for my... Uh, for my image stacking. So yeah, I, I really do like it.